Hey everybody, this is uh, C. Elman Yo, and I'm going to be playing, this is my first Let's Play video, um, so welcome, and I'm going to be playing one of my favorite games of all time, um, and the first game I actually remember playing from my childhood, which is Super Metroid. Um, I'm going to try and fast forward through all of this beginning talking stuff. Um, for those of you that don't know the story, this is the original NES Metroid there. And then, uh, blowing up some Metroids, and then the Game Boy Metroid, which was Metroid 2, um, Samus actually kills all the Metroids, but that one last one that ends up following her around. Um, so I guess that's where, uh, this game's gonna start, and, uh, I'm gonna just jump right into it here, and, uh, hope you guys enjoy the first part of my first LP ever. Alright, heading to the space station. Most Metroid games start on random space stations. I don't know why, but at least this one in Metroid Prime did. I guess none of the other ones really did, I did they? Alright. I hate the space station. Running through a deserted space station here. It's not suspicious at all, right? Empty space station. Oh, scientists. No, oh, there's no Metroid. What could have happened to the Metroid? Oh, found it. Just sitting here waiting for me. Won't let me pick it up. What? I don't understand. Oh. Oh, jeez, Ridley. When I did this fight, all I ever wanted to do was actually win the fight. I don't think you can even win this fight. I'm not gonna do it. Cause no one likes Ridley. He's a jerk. This is not as hard as the actual fight. Spoil that by uh, talking about it. Man, we use just one tough cookie. There we go. Now if this beat me up enough, it takes off running. And self destruct sequence has been activated. Evacuate colony. This is a space colony. It's not a space station. What am I thinking? Now you have one minute to escape. Not that I need the one minute. It's not a very big space colony if it only takes a minute to get out of it. Stupid steam jets everywhere. Punching me in the face. Luckily they don't do any damage, right? Dead. I'm pretty sure everybody would be dead if these, any of these things did damage to them. Ugh. Some more steam vents. Oh, steam vents. And made it. 34 seconds left. Because I'm awesome like that. And it blows up, but where am I? Oh, oh, there you go. Totally made it out alive. Like how it just blows up into nothing. There's not any chunks of the colony or anything. It's just, just gone. Why would you have a self-destruct on a space colony? That just seems stupid. It's like putting a self-destruct in like a nuclear reactor. By... And the self-destruct is just a nuclear melt. You wouldn't do it. It just seems like something you would never want. Why would there be a purpose for that? Here we go, Planet Zebus. And off we go. Just me or some of these background sprites messed up. What if I got a bad ROM? And Nothing in here. Not gonna go into these side doors yet. I don't even really do anything with them yet. It's like I know exactly where to go or something. Like I've played this game before. And a long drop. This is always the worst part of my childhood. It's just that. Because you just know as soon as you drop down it, you have to go back up. And you're never gonna be that quick going up. 
And uh, right here, by the way, is where you fight Mother Brain in the original NES Metroid. You can see this is like the, the brain cage, and then this is where it showed her, Sam is standing at the beginning and the platforms in between. So, don't know why that's right next to the surface. Seems like it would be pretty easy to get to Mother Brain in the NES one if it was just come down and BAM! Right there! Down this elevator shaft. I never really understood what these were as a kid. They were just the glowing platforms that made me go through walls. They're just elevators. I don't know what that is. And we got the Morph Ball. Or the Morphing Ball. <sighs> morphing Ball. And then what's this? It seems we've been detected by what looks like security cameras. Now we get to go over here. And we go down this pit right here. And what's this? We got missiles! Everybody's favorite weapon. And by favorite weapon, I mean the one you use for the large majority of the game for boss fights because you get so gosh darn many of them. Let's see if I can get out of here on my first try. Nope! Ah, not too bad. Of course, the good old missile doors. Coming back to this room later. Oh no, another camera! And more missiles! Always gotta come get these missiles. I'm gonna be coming back here like twice. Um, speaking of which, I am not going to be getting 100% of the power ups in this game. Um, partially because I do not have memorized where all of the power ups are. That being said, if there's any power ups I don't have to really go out of my way to get, um, I'll get them. Like, there's one back there I know of. Actually, there's two back there that I'll come back and get later when I can. But there's a couple of them where you have to go through, like, huge platforming things or through a bunch of hallways and crap, and you get, like, a missile upgrade, and that's it. And I am not going to bother getting those ones. Oh, what's this? Space pirates everywhere all of a sudden. Oh, I thought that wasn't gonna hit me. Stupid space pirates. Never knew what these were as a kid. They were just the green, like, praying mantis people. So I guess that's what they'll be, the praying mantis people that shoot lasers out of their eyes. I always hated the praying mantis people. At least these ones are easy. I wish they were all this easy. One shot all of the praying mantises throughout the game. Make the game a whole lot easier. But now we get to climb the stupid giant hallway. Why would you even make this? It's like a giant elevator shaft with no elevator. What are these platforms even? I don't even... I don't even know. I don't even know, guys. Don't even... I don't even know. I made it to the top. It wasn't too bad. Alright. And now that we're out of that tunnel... Um... Gotta climb up here... Shooting the spike crawler dudes. I don't even know what their names are. They're just the, the spiky crawler dudes that get in my way. Now we gotta fight the flying dudes, the moth dudes. I hate the moth dudes. I don't even care anymore, I only want to the small ones. And we got the map download. Update it complete. Now all the blue spaces are where I haven't been, but I know are there. Because I'm just awesome like that. Moth people. People. I, don't really, I don't know if I need bombs or not for this room. I think I do. Yeah, I do. We'll come back. We'll return. But first, I gotta climb all the way out. There's just enemies everywhere now. I don't know where all these good dudes came from. They're not all space pirates. It's like there was no one here until they one stupid security camera eyeball laser thing saw me and now there's just a ton of animals everywhere. I don't even know what these things are. They're crazy face flying things. More moth people! These are the small moth people though. They're not that big a deal. And 
missile door. I like to come back and try and refill my missiles somewhat before I go in there, because I'm going to need all the missiles out. Damn it. Ooh, he almost got me there. Yeah, got bombs now. Blow stuff up. Yeah, oh. The door closed. Oh, now, oh, what, what this, oh, it's a boss. I always try to get out that door before it closed. Never managed to make it, though. This is, uh, the, we, we used to call him, when I was a kid, the Carl boss, because it sounds like he's the only Carl all the time. He's really, really easy, though. Really, really easy. Like, that was stupid easy. I don't remember being that easy. I always remember it was pretty difficult. Guess I was wrong. Whee! Now back past the flying orange brown face thing. And we can blow up these blocks. One at a time. Go back down here. I wanna go back to that room we skipped before. I like the crazy skeleton face things in the bricks. They're pretty awesome. If I had a house, those would be on my walls. And I got another missile upgrade. Now I carry 15. Never have enough missiles. Never. Never have enough missiles. Never. And we can take the shortcut out now. ever figure out where to go in this game if I didn't already know. I'm sure I would, but like, come on. Some of this stuff. I got an energy tank! For those that don't know, there's the, the block in the corner now, and I now have, I guess, uh, it's another 99 energy. Here's more praying mantis people, but these ones I gotta kill with missiles, because my normal blaster gun laser isn't cool enough. I don't know what I would call it. My arm cannon? My normal beam. There we go. My normal beam isn't enough. These are the dudes we would call the popcorn machines. It's like they're spitting out popcorn. They drop life and missiles. Most popcorn machines don't drop missiles. Although I guess if you consider popcorn a healing item, they could drop health. But I don't know what how many people consider popcorn a healing item. Or I guess if you're going to throw them with someone, they could be considered missiles too, so I guess popcorn machines do drop health and missiles. Now we are in the plant zone. Got a rocket red face, dudes. And let's see what's in this I'll say this is the map. Nope. This is definitely not the map. I'm not stupid bouncy dude. Crazy slug with eyeball guys. Guess they look like crabs more than slugs. Oh, it is the map. I called it. And then uncalled it, and then recalled it. I'm up to what, 20? I think that's right. Whoop. And one of the crazy flying red dude machines. I don't know what's up with those. I just call them the machines because they just spit out lots of dudes. Give you all your missiles and stuff back. And I don't think I want to go over here yet. Yeah, I don't want to go over here yet. 
not worth it. I'll come back. I'll come back. Those dark rooms are kind of terrible. Moth people! Giant moth people! I hate you! No! More moth people! How am I gonna get past this one? Lots and lots of bombs. Yeah! And the metal drilling dudes. Those ones are tougher to kill. Go down here, past the giant moth people, and missile upgrade. Now up to 25 missiles. 25 missile. And if we blow up these blocks here, what's this? It's the charge beam. One of the most useful beams in the game, and it's completely optional. I can't imagine playing this game without it, as there are many times that I'm gonna probably end up using it. And I can somersault insta-kill stupid moth people now, which is like the best use for it ever. <laughs> I hate you moth people! They're the worst. Just the worst. Totally missed that one. Now we gotta go back up here. I'll just go down there for the charge beam before I come up here. Cause I likes to have it. Stupid bouncy people! I hate you! Nope. Totally missed that one. And I could go to the safe one over there, but I do not think I'm gonna die. So I'm not too worried about saving just yet. Now the crazy. F I always think these are monkeys, like flying dragon flying monkeys or something. I don't know what they are. They're not fun, that's what they are. I guess that's what they aren't. They aren't fun. They have like no health. This is gonna be the worst thing ever. I was used to those are like sardines on the roof there. I don't know why. They just look like sardines to me. Now it's time for what I consider the first boss. Though I guess you could consider Ripley the first boss, maybe. But I like to consider this to be the first boss. I'm trying to get some health here before he beats me up like that. It's not too hard to avoid though, just roll into a ball and he won't hit ya. I used to think of this dude as the apple core boss, because when he opens up like that, it's the, ugh, the inside that you can shoot looks like an apple core. Really fast there, you can get two or three missiles in him each time. That makes him die pretty quick. Oh, only got one that time. I like how he gets darker as you shoot him. I don't know what this dude is. He's like a Venus flytrap or something. He tries to kill you, but he's not very aggressive about it. He's kind of bobbing and weaving. He's like running to my spots, man. I gotta do that. Oh! Getting fast now. Getting close to dead. Almost there. Come on. I know you want to stop. Oh. <laughs> now he's getting really fast. He's like black now. I don't know why he just keeps opening that mouth, you know. If I'm going to shoot missiles in it, you'd think he would stop. Not like he opens it for an attack. He just kind of sits there. <sighs> Almost didn't get any that time. Stupid, crazy sleeping powder. I feel like I'm fighting a Pokemon here using poison powder on me. I don't know why this makes me think it's Pokemon, but there we go. One more hit. Now he closes up. We jump on top of his corpse. Lots of life for me. And I need it. Yes, I do. Red dude. And whoop! That's a fake block. Now another giant pit to fall down. And we get the super missile! 
Super missiles are great. They're like normal missiles, but super. I bet you couldn't guess that, could you? Because they're pretty awesome. I know. I'm I'm jealous of my super missiles. Uh, stupid red crab flying thing factories. Go away. And I can open this super missile doors now if I can actually hit them. And whoop. Oh what? Super missile block. Bam. And bomb my way out. And enough freaking moth people! Now we are done in this area. Door. And now it's time to run down this big, long, diagonal pit. Stupid browsing dudes, I hate you! And... Open the gate. I hate that gate. Oh, and it opens one way, so I guess we're not coming back this way anytime soon. And the cactus people. I gotta sprint across these blocks. And more cactus people! No, they shoot spines at me. They're like cactars. Only they shoot like, what, six, five? Something like that. Needles instead of 10,000 needles. If there's 10,000 of those, I'd be in trouble. And down we go. Oh, jeez. We go in this room. It's a healing room, right? Yes, it is. Energy recharge complete. Because I'm awesome. Get ahead in this way. And join this pit. And more of the bats. They explode. Stupid water. water. And we've got stupid grabby dudes. And cactus people. Cactus people! I hate you! I hate all the enemies in this game. Cactus people are not the worst, but they're pretty terrible. They're pretty easy to kill, though. And the glass tube. The really long hallway. And down we go. Down elevator shaft. Unknown. Now we're in the Rocky Caves. And I'm trying to remember which one of these is a save point. Probably none of them, knowing me. It'll be my luck that there's no save points right here. Yeah! Energy tank! Always need more energy tanks. I like to take damage, so... Whoop! Fake floor. It's not fake floor, it's a collapsible floor, and these stupid orange lava faces! There's a lot of crawling dudes in this game. They're all pretty much exactly the same enemy, so it's kind of cool that there's just different ones. What have we here? How jump boots! Now I can jump high. Bet you didn't guess that. Whee! Really high. Love the high jump boots. Whee! And more missiles! I always need more missiles. I think I said that already. But it's true. Needs repeating, because it's true. Hey, there's another fake floor. Ooh, two fake floors. And the door is locked. So we have to wait for Crazy Lava Face to get over here so we can open the door. Hate your lava faces. Oh yeah, there is a safe point. Alright. Um, with that, I am going to end part one of Super Metroid. Um, so, thank you everybody for watching, and see you later, alligators. Assuming you're alligators.